Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So, chosen, I want to tell you all, as I was just sitting here, I heard in my mind, I know it was a message directly from my spiritual team, and they said to me, they want to take you out so bad but they fear your spiritual ranking. And when I heard it, I automatically knew it, they were referencing the powers that were and the pawns who work for the powers that were. But this is the thing. There was a time in history where the powers that were, they used to be able to just go around taking out the chosen by droves, right? And really abusing their position of power that they stole, okay? They was never given that position, but they stole that position. And just wreaking havoc over nations of people, right? But we're in a different age now. Here in the age of Aquarius, the energy has shifted so drastically that they cannot just take you out like they did your ancestors. These beings recognize that because you have awakened to who you are, you have a high spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm. You have been given a crown of authority in the spiritual realm by the most high mother and father. Your angels and your ancestors have backed this up because you have proven yourself to be worthy of that position in the spiritual realm. And so while in the past, the powers that were was able to take out your ancestors only because they was very much so underneath their spell, they had been spellbound and placed to sleep put to sleep for generations, we were put to sleep. And at that time, it was easier to take someone out to sacrifice a chosen being because of the sleep state. And so of course, in your sleep state, you are vulnerable to anything, especially when you're in a deep sleep. One of those sleeps that you can't be easily shaken up out of, right? And so in that vulnerable position, many of the chosen were taken out by the powers that were. Not to mention, they didn't understand the amount of power they possessed in the spiritual realm because spirituality and the understanding of the Most High and our connection to the Most High had been completely fed to us backwards. It had been beaten out of us. And then we were reprogrammed to believe a whole nother narrative that took us away from that spiritual authority that we naturally possessed. And so we were very, very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. But now here in the age of Aquarius, you have awakened to the fact that you are a spirit having a human experience. And so the amount of effort that you have put in to becoming a better version of yourself has been on a soul level, not on the surface. You haven't spent all of this time going through surface transformations. A surface transformation looks like only being concerned about, okay, I'm the first one in my family to make over 100000 Okay, I'm the first one in my family to graduate with a master's or a PhD. Okay, I'm the first one in my family to get married and to stay married for over 20 years. No, you're not talking about surface things. And I'm not uh, watering down those achievements because they are accomplishments to be proud of. But we're talking about the reason why your enemy, your ops do not want to step over that line, that boundary that has been placed around you is because they recognize that you have transformed on a soul level. What does that mean? When you transform on a soul level, that means that when you check out, when it's your time to transition, 
You are moving. You have already gone up in ranks on a spiritual level because you did the spiritual work in this lifetime. And so on the other side, you are extremely powerful. And so they don't want to touch that because they recognize that if they do something to your physical vessel to try to take you up out of here before the most high says so. If they touch you. The spiritual nature of who you are is going to rip them to shreds, not just you, but the spiritual backing that you have connected to in this lifetime because you've broken chains off of your ancestors who have crossed over. You did the generational curse breaking. You said no more of those spells being cast over my lineage. You said, yes, my lineage, even my ancestors who have crossed over receives their inheritance, birthright and sovereignty. And so the ranking that you have and the amount of power that you possess. You could take out the entire damn (laughs) government if you wanted to, especially in the spiritual realm. Once you transition. And so they don't want to be a part of that. They don't want no smoke because they understand that you have crossed. You've broken that chain to the point where in the spiritual realm, when you are no longer a spirit having a human experience, but simply a, but more or less a spirit. I'm not going to say simply because there's nothing simple about it, but you are in your spiritual vessel, but the physical nature of you is, is, is expired. That is more scary to them than who you are here in the physical. Okay, because once you are in your spiritual nature and your physical vessel has died off, they have nothing to kill. They have nothing to harm. They would literally just have to sit back and wait for their own demise. And so they don't want to touch that. They don't want to put themselves in that type of position. And so this is why they're all fighting up against one another. Because they got to take that anger out on somebody. They're like babies. Their their, their candy is being taken away from them, which is that so-called power and authority that they weren't supposed to have in the first place. But they know not to touch you. Because if they come anywhere near you, everything crashes within a blink of an eye, a snap of a finger. Everything crashes if they touch you. So they got to let you stay here. Because their whole objective at this point is to buy more time. And they know that if they touch a chosen seed, time is automatically up because you ain't you, you, your spiritual team, the most high, your angels, y'all are not playing no games out here in these spiritual streets. This is why everything is being exposed now. Nothing can be hidden. Nothing can be hidden. I don't care what the secret is. You can try to keep them skeletons if you want to. Either you want to come out and express them openly yourself (laughs) or folks are going to just have to go ahead and accept the fact that everything that they tried to tuck up underneath the rug or hide away in a closet is going to be exposed. Time is up. There's no such thing as walking around with an unrighteous spirit, doing things against people or even doing things against yourself and thinking that it's not going to come out because it is. And that's why this is the time to straighten up. Because if you think that you can just do things and it's going to remain, it's going to stay in secrecy. The world has a whole nother thing coming. It's already proof in the faces of many who thought that they could keep things hidden, especially those who was trying to work up against you chosen. It's already been proven to them that they can't hide it anymore. Even those in your intimate circle, the fact that you removed your energy from them because you now see the mask is off. They know they can't hide who they truly are. They can't hide how they truly feel. They can't hide what they've said about you. All of it is out. They can't hide the spell work that they did against you, hoping that you would fail. They was acting as pawns for the powers that were because the entire of the whole objective. For a very, very, very long time has been keep the chosen asleep, keep them weak, keep them passive, keep them docile, keep them in a state of forgetfulness. 
That way it will prolong the position of the powers that were because the moment that you awaken, you take your power back, you reclaim all that is inherently your birthright. And I'm not just talking about the physical things. I'm talking about your spiritual power and authority. Breaking those chains off of yourself and your lineage and then working on behalf of all of the chosen seed across the four corners of the globe. When you call judgment, when you establish that all governmental structures, all so-called corrupt leaders, all people who have stolen from you and your ancestors are now judged, all witches and warlocks who have worked up against the chosen are now judged. Oh, my goodness. It is an atomic bomb that goes off. Destruction all over the place in the spiritual realm. And you all know as above, so below. As within, so without. So everything that was so-called hidden, that was in the spiritual realm, that we couldn't see all of that spiritual warfare that's been going on for generation after generation. Oh, now... It's wartime now. It's, it's battle time now because, see, the chosen have awakened. And that's when your angels and your ancestors, they get armed up because they like, OK, now it's time to really go in. We going in hard now because they have now awakened. They've gone through enough turmoil. They've gone through enough pain. They've gone through enough destruct destructive energy. To now remember who they are. It's shaking them up out, of, up out of sleep. You know, when you're asleep, a lot of times, let's just say you in that real deep sleep, a person has to violently shake you up in order to get you to awaken. And that was the traumas that the chosen went through over the past few seasons. That was that violent shaking that needed to occur because your spiritual team, the most high was saying, look, it's time. It is time. Their time is up. We need y'all to wake up because a new kingdom is now being established. You can't sleep on this because this can't be. It can't become what it is destined to become. If you are asleep. In your sleep state, the powers that were stay in a position of power. And that's where things remain in a destructive energy. But when the chosen awaken, righteousness is now awakened. Peace is awakened. Love and compassion is awakened. True authority and justice is awakened. And this is what it will take. And so your enemies are terrified of you. I don't care what you look like in the physical realm, in the 3D. I don't care how tall, how short, how big, how small. It doesn't matter what you look like in the 3D. Your enemies, the powers that were, are terrified to come anywhere near you because they understand that you are a giant in the spiritual realm. You have high ranking and they have confirmed it. They know it to be true. Why? Because... They looked at your natal chart when you was born. That's why they took down the time you was born, the date, the place, your name, your footprints, your fingerprints, your blood, your DNA. They have access to all of those things. They know exactly who you are. And the whole objective your entire life was to kick you as many times as possible in hopes that you would take yourself up out of here. Or that you would live a life that would keep you asleep. You would be the walking dead. That kept them cozy and comfortable. Knowing like, okay, I know that's a ch chosen seed over there, but they will never awaken. They will never remember because we have them under an illusion. They are so deep under our spell and under our hex that they will never awake awaken. And they put that over your ancestors generations ago. But they've kept up with you. And now they see. They've been doing a pulse check. They know that the chosen are awakened. They know because we've been putting the messages and the energy and the frequency out into the ethers and they have been tapping in and checking in and they see that this thing is the vibration is becoming so high and so rapid that they can't keep up with the energy. And so it's chaotic for them. 
is chaotic for them. The frequency that we are emitting out into the universe is chaotic for them. It's destructive to their spirit. And so this is why they're fighting up against one another. So just know you have definitely risen in ranking. You are highly protected and you are going to continue to rise. You are going to continue to be protected and you're going to continue to manifest that same spiritual ranking that you have in the spiritual realm is going to manifest right here in the physical. Because see, the powers that were, they had their so-called kings, their queens, their presidents, their CEOs, okay, their ex executives, whatever it is. They had all of those things, right? They're being moved out of the way. They're being moved out of the way. Throw the whole damn throne out. We don't even want anything that they sat their asses in. But you best believe the kingdom that's being built on behalf of the chosen, oh, your thrones are being prepared for you right here, right here. And your enemies will be your footstool right here in the 3D. They will be your footstool and your enemies will be the footstool of your offspring for generations to come. We're not going back. We're never looking back to where we came from. Those days are over. And so the powers that were recognized that they have to take themselves up out of here. And this is why they're all fighting up against one another because no one wants to release their grip. They don't want to let it go. But their kingdom has now fallen. It's over with. And they have to accept the fact that a new kingdom is now being constructed on behalf of the chosen. And this is a kingdom that's going to last. Because it's being built with a solid foundation, one that starts from love and integrity, compassion and honor. It begins with that divine connection to the Most High Mother and Father. It begins with truth. Truth. So get ready, y'all. Get ready. They'll give you the nasty looks. You'll get the nasty looks. You'll get the stares. You'll get the rolling of the eyes. But they won't come nowhere near you because they know what's up. They know what's up. <laughs> they don't want to set off no atomic bombs by messing with a chosen seed. So stand in your power. Continue to do the spiritual work. If you don't feel like you're there yet, make sure that every single day that you awaken, you spend working on the spiritual nature of who you are, destroying and releasing all parts of your carnal nature, put it on paper and burn it. You don't have to sit with anything that prevents you from being the best version of yourself. You do not. You've been given the spiritual tools to clear it out. If you have the energy of fear, lack mentality, um, unhealed wounds, abandonment, insecurities, shame, guilt, addictive behavior patterns, Put it on paper and burn it and give thanks to the most high and your spiritual team for helping you to clear it. Clear those generational curses. I'm going to tell you the generational curse breaking right now for those of you who have not done it yet. You'll put on paper. You're going to write this on paper and burn it. I destroy and release all generational curses off of myself, my ancestors, my offspring the parents of my children and their ancestors in spirit and in flesh across all timelines, realms, and dimensions. So you have to rewind it if you want to hear it again. I mentioned this at what? We're about 15 minutes in, okay? So you want to put that on paper. And the other half, you're going to put on a candle, this is what you want to create. So you're going to get you a white candle that's in glass and write on it with a permanent marker. You're going to write, I reclaim my inheritance, birthright, and sovereignty on behalf of myself and my lineage in spirit and in flesh. You're going to let that candle burn and give thanks to the Most High Mother and Father for granting you all that was taken, giving back your inheritance, birthright, and sovereignty. Let that candle burn through in a safe space. This is what you have to do if you haven't done it yet. 
but continue to work on yourself every single day to become the better version of yourself because i'm telling you it's knocking the powers that were out so fast that beast of babylon is being starved because it has nothing to feed on when it comes to your energy you are the generators out there chosen and if it can't feed on you then it's dead there is nothing to feed on because the low vibrational karmics their energy is too is too dense that beast of Babylon needs something high vibrational to feed off of, and it can't. You're not giving it anything to feed on because you're healing out there. So keep doing what you're doing. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let us know how this resonates with you, and I'll talk to you all next time.